am going to do class six of commercial guilds. Okay. Uh, to us, there, uh, if we talk to the commercial guilds, uh, we start the class with, with four. She finds her way again to the top of the class um, very easily. Uh, I think she is the totals hog without a doubt. Uh, she's the EST hog. She's, she is the biggest, she's the stoutest, she's the soundest. Um, so I think, like I said, she is the EST hog of that class and I think quite simply overpowers that class. Um, I think that's a very logical place for us to start. We followed her uh, with one. Uh, she follows really close. Um, I think if you, you recognize the, the pasture and strength needs to be improved on one, uh, certainly, or she can push our class winner as well. Really stout, really square, really nice hog. We simply we sort those from a pure pasturing standpoint, not not pure pasturing standpoint, but that's where our, our class winner excels, and get we give her the edge. And then, like I said, you come back to the four hog. She just overpowers the class uh, when you compare those two. Um, then we felt like there was a significant drop off from uh, the four gilt and the one gilt. When we we so the top pair, when we go into the three hole, we do follow in third with the three hog. Um, she still reads with some extension and flexibility and soundness, um, just not enough muscle, not enough rib shape to move her up in the class. Then we round out the class with the two hog. Um, she's the flattest made, tightest rib, horse doing in the, in the class. Um, so even, even dropping from, from third to fourth, quite a significant drop off in quality. Uh, so we round out the class with the horse um, doing female in the class. So class six commercial gilts goes four, one, three, two cuts two five two five and five.